Hi, welcome to today's video where I'm here to prove that you can get your face on for $14.99 or less. In fact, when I went shopping at Ulta, it was my mission to find products that were under that price point, but I did even better. There were two items that were $14.99, one $12 and the rest all under 10 and I will list all the products that I purchased and their price in the description box so that you can follow along but I really want to show that it is it is more than possible to look polished and pretty and not have to spend a lot of money we are all working within different budgets and while there are high-end items that are fantastic you know what there are lower priced items that in my opinion are equally as nice, uh, offer a great finish, and last throughout the day. And what I'm going to do after I do this full makeup tutorial, I will then come back at the end of my very long day and we'll take a look and see how everything lasted. But I'm going to start off with my uh, primer application and again I'll list all the products for you. And in fact, let me push in a little bit so you can see a little closer what I'm doing. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to start off with my primer which is by NYX. Let me just sort of tuck the hair behind my ears so I don't get makeup on that too. Um, you're probably getting a glimpse at my eyebrows for the first time since Connie retouched them uh, with her stardust technique and wowza, <laughs> the browser, Connie. Holy smokes. I mean, this is nothing, nothing. Washed face, that's it. Um, man, she's unbelievable. Anyway, I digress. So this is uh, NYX's No Filter Primer. And I'm just going to spread it on. And it's a great start. Uh, diminishes pore size and really makes your skin feel sort of silky to the touch before we apply the foundation. I also take my primer down my neck too, since I apply foundation here. So the foundation that I chose is by Maybelline and it's Superstay Better Skin. And I've washed all my brushes, so we are literally starting from scratch. And I'm just gonna give it a couple of pumps. This is a full coverage foundation. Okay. Um, yeah, this is a good color for me. I have a lot of yellow in my skin. So sometimes foundations can be a little too pink, but I've noticed that cosmetics companies are starting to cater to us gals who are a little bit more yellow than red. I'm finding some really, really good choices. And this one's blending in perfectly and I'm liking the way that it's going on. Since I have short hair, I carry my foundation up on my ears because sometimes I'll sweep my hair, my hair behind them or just pull it back and I don't want um, pinkish ears and a beigey yellow face. <laughs> it's all about matching. Wow, this turned out to be a really good color. As you know, with, um, with these cosmetics, there are no testers, so it's really just how good you are in holding the foundation up to you. I always hold it up to my chest and look in a mirror um, and not my face because remember we're trying to match the face to the chest. This is a buildable foundation so I'm going to apply a little bit more up here on my cheek. And just tap it in. Nice. I really like it. Hmm. Okay, impressed so far. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, apply an eyelid primer. And this one is by Physician's Preference. And it came with two, actually. There's a matte one and a shimmer. Here's the matte, here's the shimmer. I'm going to be using the matte since I am headed to work. If I had an evening look, I might play with the shimmer, but I like the fact that it gave me two choices and it comes with a wand. So I just will take that 
and apply to my lid. This is maybe where I'm seeing a little bit of difference in quality. Um, it's not quite as thick as some of the higher end eyelid primers, um, but the job is to provide a matte base for the eyelid, for the eyeshadow, and to give it something to adhere to. Um, and I also sweep a little bit under the eye in my lower lashes, which helps um, to prevent the makeup from falling and smudging below. Okay, so there's eyelid primer. Um, as I've mentioned before, I will still use eyebrow filler when I do a full face of makeup. And that's because when you see these brows just by themselves, they're perfect for a very light makeup application. But if I'm doing the full Monty, which I am going to work, um, I do need to punch up the brows a little bit. So uh, what I chose is another product by NYX. It's eyebrow gel and um, it dries and it won't budge, which is great. So I take this little tube, put a tiny, tiny, tiny bit in the palm of my hand and then I've got a little angled brush and I will dip and then just run it underneath. I kind of follow the line that Connie gave me and then I just take the residual and flick up and create my own little hair-like strokes as if I'm doing microblading with, uh, with makeup. Same thing again. And this just adds a little bit of depth to the brow, little extra color, uh, which will be important as we deepen the eye and start playing with eyeshadow colors. But what's so nice about having the eyebrow tattoo, I mean, look how quickly that went. And it's because I already have my frame to follow. Um, and it's just a matter of making it a little bit darker. Okay, so that is done. And now I'm going to move on to eyeshadow. And I chose Ulta Beauty. And this is called Jazz. And it's an array of browns and neutrals. And um, I just, I like kits. They put it all together and takes the guesswork out of everything. So let's see here. There's a very, very light shadow in the middle and that's going to be for my inner corner and then right under the brow bone I'm going to go to the next lighter one and just kind of use that everywhere okay next up I'm going to go with kind of a medium brown right here and I'm going to apply this on my lid. Just tap it on and work my way on up. It's a nice shade. It's a good medium brown for a lid and a little bit up in the crease. Okay, next up will be the slightly darker one. And I'm going to take that up high in my crease, start carving out a little bit. Get some depth, create that, that socket. Um, a lot of us, as we get older, our lids get heavier and it gets trickier creating a, that open eye look. So that's when we have to get in there and really get crafty with our shadows and recreate that hollow. That's where the deeper shades come in and we carry them higher up, closer to our brow bone to really open up the eye. All right, and now comes the darkest color right here, which will focus on the outer part of the eye. A little pie shape. The 
biggest difference you'll notice between the lower priced items and the higher priced is really the level of pigmentation and I find that you just have to apply a little bit more with the lower end. It takes a couple of layers to really build and get the depth of color, but you can get it. It's just a little bit more effort. But as you can see, I'm getting that with this eyeshadow kit. I'm just having to work a little harder for it, that's all. Finish it up with the uh, blending brush. All right, so now the next thing I want to do is use this pencil that I got, and it came with a contour kit. This is by Physician's Preference. Yep, Physician's Formula. Shimmer Strips, uh, looks like it's a brown bronze color. Warm Nude Eyes is what it says. And it's um, a nice brown, so I'm going to line in the waterline with this. And I'm smudging a little bit into the uh, eyelashes. You know what, this is okay, but it's not as deep as one that I have that also is in the price range, and it's L'Oreal's Voluminous in brown. I just, I just love this one. I use it all the time, um, and it's just, it's a deeper brown, and that's what I need for my waterline. So I'm having to uh, smitch, switch midway, but at least I had a backup. Okay, and now I'm going to take one of my colors that I used, this sort of medium brown, and I'm going to smudge on that lower lash line. Okay, and then I'm going to use a flat pencil, I mean a brush, go into the darker shade here, and I'm just going to smudge this along my upper lash line. So I'm going for a very soft, shadowy look no uh, hard eyeliners today. Okay, I'm getting there. Just blend a little bit. Okay, a little bit of dark right there. There we go. Okay, so for concealer, this is what I'm going with. Um, this is a Maybelline product, Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. Saw that? had to have it. So this one you twist and it comes with a little sponge ball, sponge bob square pants, and you take that and you now dot that in where you're applying your concealer. I'm going to use a brush to blend it in. I went with medium and I'm going to use a little bit more. product claims to help with puffiness and wrinkles. So who don't want to try that? Good. This is also serving as a bit of a cheekbone highlighter too. All right. I'm concealed. And now I'm going to apply mascara. Okay. Um, Voluminous Lash Parade. I think that's L'Oreal. Probably. Waterproof, uh, yeah, that's gotta be a L'Oreal product. Of course it is, they're voluminous. So I'm using that for my top lash. And then I'm going to put a little falsy strip on top. My lashes are on parade, y'all. They're coming out. It's working well. Building length and thickness but most importantly, length, which is what I like. Not too clumpy. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit before I put the strip lash on top. Um, and I'm going to set the foundation now with NYX um, Studio <laughs> uh, Photogenic HD Powder. 
it looks white, 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 but it's actually neutral, 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 and it won't change the color of your foundation. It just mattifies. And that it is. gets rid of the shine, which is really, really good for my line of work. And most of us, unless we're going for a really dewy finish, um, opt for a shine-free look as well. Okay, moving on to contouring and highlighting. And for that, it is a physician's uh, formula or physician's preference, whatever they call themselves. Uh, bronzer and booster, physician's formula. And it looks like so. Nice. It's got a contour, a bronzer, and a highlighter. So I'm going to start with a little contouring, which would be this darker color here on the outside. And I'm going to go In here, and I will blend. Don't worry. Actually, you know what? I feel that's a little bit more of a bronze, bronzer color. So I'm going to use that where I would bronze. And let's take a look at, it comes with a little flat brush, by the way, this middle color. I can kind of practice here, the side of my nose. So I feel the middle one is a little bit more of a contour. Okay, and for the highlight, I have my own little brush here. Nice, nice color, no harsh streaks. Winner, winner. Okay, my blush is by Ulta Velvet Blush in Princess. Pretty color. I like. So I've got my blush brush, just a little bit. Kind of a rosy peach color. Looks really good. Actually, this one has a pretty strong pigmentation. It goes on very easily. So you won't have to apply too much. That's nice. All right. So now the falsies that I got, Andrea Strip Lash number 92. I find that with false lashes, nine out of 10 times, the strip is just too wide, too long for my eye. So I will take the lash and I will sometimes cut the inner corner out which is what I'm going to do in this case. Just about a quarter of an inch. And then you take that inner corner and you just sort of angle it. So you're recreating that small to longer look. And it helps to shorten the lash. And then you won't have those crazy inner corners lifting from the inside of your eye. So about a quarter of an inch. And I use the clear strip lash glue. Little dab will do you. I like to let it sit for a bit so it sticks easier. See something I need to correct right there. Let's get this baby on. Just take your time with lashes. Don't let them get the best of you. You can always remove and reapply. Okay, that one went on well. Nice length, not too crazy. Just gives a little more thickness to that upper lash line. Okay, same thing. So far, I'm liking how this makeup is turning out. I'm wondering if you can tell a difference between the higher end and the lower end look. Hmm. The real test is going to be at the end of the day. Okay, this is dried enough now. Same thing, top down. Great! Shazam! They're on! Okay, we're going to finish up with Lippy and then we'll be done.
A couple of things. I've got a lip pencil, but I also have this outer pencil by NYX Wonder Pencil. Comes in a couple of different highlight shades, um, but what they recommend you do is just go outside the lip line. It's a little bit lighter, and it says that it prevents lipstick from bleeding out. So I know that's a problem a lot of us have. So I'm going to give this a try. I've never tried this before. Um, so I'm lining just outside my lip line. And now I'm going to use a pencil by NYX, and it's called Nude. Good color. Guess what it looks like? Looks like my MAC Spice. Goes on really well. Okay, I like that a lot. Just saying. And my lipstick is also by NYX, and this is their Lingerie lipstick and the color is Lippy 08, a pretty nude. Great color. Reminds me a little bit of the Huda that I bought. And it dries to a matte finish. Okay, I do believe we're done. I have a face full of makeup. I'm going to set it a little bit more with my powder. Everything. $14.99 and under, most of it, 10 bucks and under, and that is very exciting. Very, very, very exciting. So the key is, what am I gonna look like at the end of the day? We will find out. Okay, so I told you it was going to be really late when I checked back in, and it's 1.30 in the morning because the Astros just won the World Championships Woo! We are World Series champs! And we just got off the air. So, as you can see, my makeup is still on. The only thing that's changed is I adjusted the lipstick color to be a bit more orange because we were doing all of our Astros coverage. But as you can see, it's all still here. I didn't have to touch up much. I didn't have to powder much. So, I gotta say, this lower priced makeup really, really knocked it out of the park. Well, again, I've listed everything for you in the description box. If you have products that you love that are affordable, please list them below. This community helps one another. Uh, if I found something that you love, let me know. If there's something I need to add to this collection, let me know. But I really, really enjoy the fact that you can get it done for less and you don't have to spend a lot to look like you've spent a lot. And there's something for everybody on every budget. And that's what I'm here to show. So with your fully made up face for, I think maybe just a hair over $100, go out there, be bold, be blessed, and I'll see you next week. Bye.